What's going on everybody? Hope you enjoyed my uh, first video back introducing the fact that I am using the small off program for squats. So I know that's gonna, I know there's gonna be some questions of, one, if you're doing small off, why are you deadlifting? And two, did you uh, abandon daily undulating periodization? Did you find that it was not what you thought it was to be? No. Um, <laughs> first of all, in regards to the deadlifting, um, I like to deadlift and I'm going to deadlift because I still have the goal of wanting to hit 600 pounds. Now, I know it's not recommended during the small off program, but what I'm doing with my deadlifts is I'm trying to blend them in where I'm using a, uh, a certain percentage of my one rep max, uh, three to four times a week, depending on what the, the squat programming is. But I'm only doing things like singles and doubles. Uh, I'm staying anything, staying away from things that may have you know more like five reps or more uh, in, a, in a way to preserve my lower back because obviously with all the, the squatting that I'm doing, um, it does take its toll. Uh, so you gotta be smart there. You gotta also auto-regulate. So if I feel like the number that I'm supposed to hit is too heavy, I will back off and go lighter just to make sure that I try to save myself from uh, inflammation and injury. So that's what I'm doing on the deadlift end. In terms of the daily undulating periodization, I haven't really abandoned it at all because if you think about it, part of daily undulating periodization is frequency, or two parts of it are frequency and changing the percentage of your one rep max. Small off is a lot like that in the sense that you're doing the squat, for instance, multiple times per week, so there's your frequency, and also undulating. Um, the only real difference is with small off, you're undulating within the workout, where daily undulating, you're doing it per the day. So it's a little bit different, but concept is kind of the same. So I'm not abandoning it. What happened was I have a, a training partner in New York that I work out with every day, and his main focus is not bodybuilding. His main focus is more of wanting to build strength. So when I started with him, his, his, his goal was to do 225 pound bench for a five by five. Meanwhile, he's doing well, you know, he's benching over 300 now and he's doing like 250, 260, 270 for sets of five. So, you know, his goals are different and he was very interested in increasing his squat. And uh, another guy that was at the gym was using small off and was doing very, very well with it. So he came to me and said, listen, I'd really like to do small off. Do you think we can make it work? And I said, okay, well, let me see what the program is. Cause I mean, I was familiar with small off and see if and how I can work it, that I can still accomplish the goals that I need in terms of muscle hypertrophy for my bodybuilding. Um, I don't mind squatting frequently because it helps to build my legs. Uh, I need to keep deadlifting in cause I like to do it. Um, and as long as I can figure out a way to blend that all together where I can still reach my goals and you can reach your goals and we can do it. So I literally spent uh, two or three days, and I don't even know how many hours during those two or three days, laying out the, the small off structure of the squat program and then figuring out how I was going to lay in deadlift and bench as well as accessory work for the bodybuilding hypertrophy piece that I want. So. You know, as, as somebody who works with multiple people, you know, if they want something, I'm not usually one to say no, uh, unless I really think it's something that is dangerous. If it's not dangerous, then I don't have a problem with it. Um, because I've told you before, I think optimal is more of what the person could sustain uh, and what they're interested in doing. And if you can keep them interested, they'll keep training hard and they'll get results in the end. So I figured out how to blend it all together in a way that works for, for both of us. And uh, we've been doing it now for a whole week. I I'm not going to joke. It's not easy. I would not recommend small off to a beginner. Uh, it's not designed for, you know, uh, I would recommend somebody who's a beginner, maybe working full body three to four times a week. Um, and if you want to do something like a large compound movement like the squat, I would pra practice it regularly. So you get familiar with the movement before you start adding intensity to it. Um, that's just my personal thoughts. So right now it's Saturday. Um, and I'm actually headed to the gym to train with somebody. Uh, you've seen him before. If you've ever been on my Instagram accounts, uh, James was a physique client of mine that uh, 17 years old, did a competition, did very, very well. Uh, now he's in his growth season, his off season, his improvement season, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we're currently reverse dieting him uh, so that he can start putting some body weight back on. He was show weight. I think he was 100 and. 45 pounds, he's now up around 150, 151 several months later. 
Uh, he's eating over 300 grams of carbs. His protein is probably anywhere from 180 to 200 a day. His fat's around 60. Um, but we're going to continue just training together because though he's 17 uh, and he's younger, he's not necessarily as strong as me. Just watching how hungry he is motivates me to push harder because it reminds me of when I was 17 and I was smaller and I wanted to get bigger. So that's where we're headed. All right, guys, so enjoy the rest of the video.
So guys, that was a little bit of my workout. Unfortunately, the gym started to get really, really crowded and I'm not sure they're a fan of uh, us filming in there, so I was trying to be sneaky about it. But did my squats as you saw, did some deadlifts afterwards. We also did some bench um, and some cable work for uh, our back. I'm exhausted and now I have to go home, eat, take care of my kid, run some errands, and that's how my life goes, guys. All right, hope you're enjoying the uh, new videos. Talk to you soon.